Hi folks, this is Linear Algebra Checkpoint Quiz 1. We're given a matrix and we're asked to find an expression involving that matrix. So let's look at each of these ingredients, C squared. Well, what's it mean to square a matrix? It means to take the matrix times itself. So we're going to do that. And how do you multiply matrices? Row times column. So if I take the first row times the first column, I take the 1 times the 1, which is 1, negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6, you add them together, you get negative 5. First row, second column. You take the 1 times the negative 2, negative 2, negative 2 times 4, negative 8, Add those together, you get negative 10. So that completes the first row of, the, of C squared. To get the second row of C squared, we're going to take the second column, and, or the second row of C, and multiply it by each of the columns. So second row, first column, 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12. Add them together, you get 15. Second row, second column, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 4 times 4 is 16. Add those together, you get 10. So that's C squared. 5C. How do you take 5 times a matrix? Well, this is scalar multiplication. We multiply each of the entries by the scalar 5. So 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times negative 2, negative 10. 5 times 3, 15. 5 times 4, 20. So that's 5C. And the last ingredient is this 10I2. I2 is the 2 by 2 identity matrix. And once again, those are diagonal matrices with 1's on the main diagonal. And zeros then everywhere else. Multiply 10 to each of those entries. You get that. Okay, so what's our final answer then? C squared minus 5C plus 10I2. C squared is the matrix negative 5, negative 10, 15, 10. Minus 5C, so minus 5, negative 10, 15, 20. Plus 10I2, 10, 0, 0, 10. And how do you add matrices? You add them, uh, you add the corresponding entries. Let's see what happens. Uh, negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10, plus 10 is 0. Negative 10 minus negative 10 is 0, plus 0 is 0. 15 minus 15 plus 0 is 0, and 10 minus 20 plus 10 is 0. And so we ended up getting the 2 by 2 0 matrix. So you can think of that you did all that work for nothing. Uh, what's really going on here is, uh, well, and we'll talk about this when we get to uh, chapter 4. You can think of this, this is a polynomial in terms of C. And this polynomial is called the characteristic polynomial for C. And for the math trivia people out there, what we've just demonstrated is called the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. Now we'll certainly talk about the Cayley-Hamilton theorem, but the proof of it is usually reserved for a course in advanced linear algebra. It depends on invariant substa uh, subspaces and Jordan canonical forms. But we will talk about it in chapter 4. All right, in number two, we're asked to use the definition of matrix multiplication to prove that A times IN equals A for all M by N matrices A. In other words, we want to prove that the N by N identity matrix is given a good name because it's a multiplicative identity. So we, the way we set this up is we let A be a generic M by N matrix. So we'll write that like so. And what's the identity matrix again, the n by n identity matrix? Well, by definition, 
It's an n by n matrix where its entries d, i, j are one of two things. It's zero if i and j are different, one if i and j are the same. And what that does is it puts ones on the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Let's look at the product then a times i n. By definition, this is the sum, k equals 1 to n, because that's the number of columns of a, and that's the number of rows of i n. a i k d k j, and this resulting matrix will be an m by n matrix, because of how it's defined. Now let's take a look at this sum. dkj is going to be one of two different things. It's going to be 0 if k and j are different. It'll be 1 if k and j are the same. So that means in this sum, these dkjs are all 0 except when k equals j. So this sum just reduces down to aij djj, which is aij times 1, because those indices are the same, which gives me aij. So that means that this just boils down to aij again. And so we go back to the definition of matrix equality. A times in is an m by n matrix. That's the same size as A itself and the corresponding entries are identical. So hence, AIN is actually equal to A. So that'll do it for Checkpoint Quiz 1.